Easy from Germany. Now, Sheikh, um, you said in the past that a layman has to follow a method, and cherry picking, like uh, taking opinions from different method, is haram. But uh, for example, in the Ramadan, I ask you uh, if swallowing the saliva from the lip would break the fasting. I want to hear your opinion, as I am following the Hanbali method, and according to the Hanbali method, and also to the Shafi method, doing this. Deliberately would break the fasting. That was the uh, opinion of Imam Ibn Qudama rahimahullah and and Nawawi rahimahullah. But this opinion can be very difficult for a person. So is it permissible for a layman to follow the opinion from a different method if he finds the opinion from his own method to be very difficult, whether it's an ishtihad, or should he always stick to his method, even if it's very hard for him, as long as they do not contradict with the Quran and Sunnah? Okay. First of all, Akhil Habib. I did not say a layman must follow a madhab. Usually people quote this and forget that I give a full package. I usually say a layman must not cherry pick and he must follow a trusted scholar in whatever he tells him. And if you can't find a scholar, then you may follow a madhab, but you cannot just blindly follow a madhab without a sheikh from the madhab guiding you around because every madhab has two or three opinions on the same topic such as the issue of swallowing your saliva if it came out of your mouth to your lips and then you swallowed it again and by the way this is a hypothetical issue not mentioned in the quran and the sunnah the quran and the sunnah says do not eat do not drink now, cascading this to licking your lip like this, and then imagining that I've swallowed my saliva. Achi, swallowing your saliva is, I cannot show it on live TV because this is uh, rated PG, most likely, not rated whatever. So, to have your saliva on your uh, uh, lip in mass, in quantity, this is something that is debatable. Yes, in this case, we may say, oops, what have you done? You have a, a, a chunk of saliva on your lips and you're swallowing it. That's something with mass. Just licking your lip like this and then licking it again like this has zero impact on your fasting. With all due respect to the schools of thought that say, this invalidates your fasting. It doesn't. Imagine the quantity of water after rinsing your mouth and spitting it out. Do you mean to tell me that there isn't any amount of water remaining and mixing with your saliva? Of course there is. Is it something to break your fast? Of course not. Why? Because the Prophet ordered us to rinse our mouths and to spit it out. The remaining is negligible. So you tell me, the amount of saliva when I lick my lip like this, is it less or more than the amount of water remaining and mixing with my saliva when I spit the water after rinsing it in wudu? So definitely, Akhi, we have to... Uh, um, yani be a little bit logical and not make Islam too difficult to practice, number one. Secondly, following the books of fiqh is difficult without a sheikh. You have to have a trusted sheikh to help you navigate through the different opinion. This is in the old opinion of Shafi'i and this opinion is the new opinion of Shafi'i. Which one I take? That would be cherry picking. Because one says right, one says left. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's nice. I'm following the Shafi'i Madhab. I have the choice. No, there is the most authentic opinion of the two, which you are obliged to follow. So I hope this answers your questions. We have